Peace and blessings, family. Peace and blessings, Mark the Messenger. We're back with another video. This one's going to be about... I know some of you guys are probably looking at the title and the thumbnail, and you're probably saying, oh, it's just clickbait. And no, this is not clickbait. And um, this has happened to me a lot of times on my walk. Um, I've been on Walking with Christ for about five years now. And, you know, I always tell you guys about the breakthrough, uh, the blessings coming. And, you know, yes, that, that's what happens when you're obedient. So you're going to reap a harvest in due time. Uh, if you don't, you know, don't, it says the Bible says, don't go weary and well-doing for in due season you shall reap if you faint not. And that is true, okay? But also, uh, there's a Bible verse I want to go over. And this is what I experience every single time when I level up. Every single time, man. And I know a lot of you chosen ones can relate to what I'm saying. So this is in Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 17 to 18. And I'll leave a verse somewhere on the screen so you guys can read along. It says, and I gave my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. And I perceive, perceive that this is also a vexion of spirit, for in much wisdom is much grief. And he that increase in knowledge, increase in sorrow. Okay, so let me reread this again. For much, wis, uh, for much wisdom is much grief. Okay, and he that increase in knowledge, increase sorrow. And why is that? You may ask yourself that question. And the reason why is because you're now able to see what's really taking place in the world. You're now gained more knowledge, more wisdom. And you see that a lot of people are just enjoying darkness. A lot of people are enjoying um sin the pleasures of sin you know and once you gain that wisdom and knowledge you see that that leads to death that leads to corruption that leads to a lot of problems and you know and you guys might be saying well what do you, what do you mean by when god levels you up it's supposed to be joy and happy happiness and yes it does come with that but like i said when you gain that wisdom and knowledge it also comes with leveling up you're going to find yourself wanting to be alone it's not that no one wants to hit you up no more or you have no friends because people don't like you it's just more of like you just prefer to be alone and I'm finding that more and more every time I level up in life, like I just want to be more, more alone. And there's a different type of level up, right? So when God levels you up, let me, let me explain this real quick. So let's say you're like a, like a chef, right? You cook and you're getting better, you're better, you're, mil, you're cooking better meals. That's not God leveling you up. That's just you putting in the work, you know, you putting in the hours and, and, you know, you leveled up. But when God levels you up, okay, uh, that comes with obedience. That comes with, you know, giving up, you know, certain addictions, certain vices, uh, certain, you know, sins. You know, the sins that we have to give, the willful sin that's keeping us in bondage, bondage that's keeping us in darkness, the strongholds, the demonic strongholds we got to break free from, uh, the certain people. Because, guess, guys, I'm telling you, every time I level up, it's like there's always a snake that God has to cut off. There's always someone who didn't really have their best interest, in, you know, in, in their heart towards me, you know, and... Uh, evil communications corrupt your good manners. A lot of you guys, you're a slave to your sin, not because you actually want to do the sins, because of people around you, okay? The people around you, and this is why it's so important that, you know, you have to be set apart. In these last days, I feel like, like I said, guys, I'm not alone. You know, I do have a family, obviously, but like before I had my family, I actually prefer to be alone. Like I was cool, I was chilling, you know, because I understand that most people just enjoy the matrix. Most people enjoy Satan's kingdom, enjoys what the devil could give them, you know, because the devil could give you a level up too. He could bless you too, just as God can, because he's a copycat, he's an imitator, okay? And, you know, I'm noticing that um, it's like every new level, you know, I told you guys every time, every new level, new devil, every time, you know, God's taking to that breakthrough, that blessing, yes, it comes with joy. The Bible does say in Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3, that he will keep you in perfect peace because your mind is stayed on him, okay? And yes, that is 100% true. But I'm telling you guys, every time you level up, you're going to find yourself like you're going to realize like a lot of people like they're not really about they don't love God, bro. Like let's put it in short, like you love God, you being a chosen one, you being a child of God. OK, you knowing the truth because God has showed you. OK, and you're going to realize that even the so-called Christian or your church goers, like a lot of these people don't really love God, man. And. Uh, a lot of these people are either lukewarm or they're double-minded. And, you know, like I said, guys, some people you got to cut off because a lot of, I'm telling you guys right now, man, this message is for somebody. There's a sin that's, that's keeping you in bondage, that's keeping you further away from God. And the reason why you're only doing that is because there's people around you. You're being, in, you're easily influenced. And who was the first influencer? Okay. Who would, who would influence sin into this world? The devil. The devil is an influencer. Notice how there's all these influencers on social media now. Everyone's an influencer on social media. Who was the first, the first influencer? The devil. The devil influenced Eve to sin. Okay, even Adam to sin. Okay, so uh, the people around you can influence you to do good things or influence you to do bad things. And you have to use your discernment. You have to have wisdom and knowledge to see that. You know, and I noticed that on this level that... It kind of made me like sad, bro. Like it kind of made me like low-key kind of depressed knowing that like, dang, like 
this this walk, this narrow path is really narrow and there's only few that find it because you realize like think about it guys in the bible it says that when uh god destroyed um sodom and gomorrah it was only lot and, and his, his two children his wife didn't even make it and noah there was only eight righteous people who made it so and, and no one knows exactly how many people were alive at that time if it was millions or like today they say there's seven billion who knows is that your six or seven billion and you know there's not many out of that six seven billion people on this earth that's the number they gave us like there's only going to be like maybe a couple thousand, you know, a couple thousand who are actually going to make it. Okay. The Bible says as the days of Noah, it's going to be the same thing when Christ comes back. There's not going to be many people who are going to want to get on that ark. They're going to be distracted. They're going to, you know, enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season because it's all just a season, you know, and, and, and let me make this very clear too. When, when you're like, because a lot of people think that, you know, it's going to be happiness and joy all the time when you're following God. And yes, you know, he, he does give you that that joy and happiness. But the Bible says there's a season for everything. There's a time of peace and there's a time of war, a time of love and a time to hate. OK, so there's always and always understand the season that you're in. OK, this is why wisdom must be exalted in these last days. Wisdom must be exalted. It has to. OK, this is how it's going to wisdom is going to help you break the chains. It's going to it's going to lead you. And, and wisdom is the gift of the Holy Spirit. Okay, wisdom and knowledge, that's the gift of the Holy Spirit. And yes, like I said, guys, it does come, like the Bible says, it does come with grief. It does come with sorrow. Okay, nothing in this world is that, that's worth getting is easy. You know, yes, it's going to be hard to digest. That's why many people hate the truth, because it's, hard, it's a hard pill to swallow. Many people are going to choose the blue pill, the illusion, the lies. Many people are going to choose that. But once you take you know, the truth, once you digest it, and the truth sets you free, you know, it comes with a lot of pain, man. It comes with a lot of sorrow. It comes with a lot, you know, you can find yourself depressed and, and, and sad. But always understand this, guys. Whenever you feel those negative emotions, those negative feelings, Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 to 30 says to go into, go into Christ. All you that are, you know, are tired, all you who are frustrated, all you who are feeling those negative emotions, and he will give you rest. And one thing about the level up, I noticed too, that I have to say this too as well, is that it draws you closer to God. It draws, it's like every time I level up, I'm more and more closer to God. I'm further away from the, the, the world and what the world has to offer. Okay, and I'm just getting more closer to God. So, and that's what I notice about this leveling up. And that's why I love and I always promote not only wisdom, but obedience. Because, you know, that's what really shows you that you love God, man. And, you, and watch, guys. When you're obedient, watch God work in your life. Now, be patient. Like I said, it's all seasons. A lot of you guys watching this video right now, your season is coming. And when that season comes, guys... Telling you, man, go hard, go hard, man, go hard for the kingdom. I made a video about this on my second channel. If you haven't subscribed to that, check it out. It's Mark the Messenger Live. It was titled that, go hard for the kingdom or just go back to darkness. Go back to Satan. Okay, you're either going to go hard, be on fire for God, or, you know, or just go back to the devil, man. We got to, we got we in these last days, guys, there's no time to be asleep. There's no time to be lukewarm, to be double-minded. There's no time to be, you know, wanting to love God and then love the devil. There's no time for that, bro. There ain't no time for that, man. We got to be warriors and we got to fight. We got to have the armor on and fight. And, you know, like you guys should know by now, if you watch my videos, every new level, new devil, every time you give up a sin, prepare to fight, prepare for the devil to use people to draw you back into it, prepare to get those attacks in your dreams. Okay. Not a lot of people talk about that, but yes, guys, when you gain those, when you give up a sin and you get those nightmares, quote unquote nightmares, those are just spiritual attacks. Okay, so always stay prayed up. Always thank God for what he has blessed you with. You know, no matter if it, the time, and a lot of people, is one thing I noticed too. A lot of people only want to pray when times are bad. Don't be selfish. Don't just be a user of God. Only go into God. Would you want people to just come to you when things are bad? Nah, you'll be like, that's fake. So it's the same thing with God. Okay, go to God and give him thanks and praises. Not only when times are good, when times are bad, or sorry, not only when times are bad, but when times are good too. Okay, so... I just wanted to say that, guys, you know, you know, I on this new level, I did find myself kind of like sad and depressed. But like I said, that's just that means I'm gaining more wisdom, more knowledge. And like I said, it's all just a season. It's all it's all good. <laughs> I'm with the, I'm a child of the most high. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> woo! Yes. I know y'all be saying, Mark, you don't you don't woo no more. Yes, I, woo, I be wooing. Y'all just don't be watching. <laughs> but now, nah, like I said, guys, much wisdom, much grief. And he that increase in knowledge is sorrow. OK, so. And this on this level up, like I had to I had to make this video because I tell you guys to break through the blessings and you know the woos and stuff like that, the happiness and joy. And yes, it does come with it. But you know, the more wisdom, man, and you gotta think about it because Solomon, Solomon, he, he could have asked God for anything 
anything else or anything the world had to desire. And God said he would give it to him, but he asked God for wisdom. And that speaks volume. Look what happened to Sol uh, Solomon, man. He was blessed abundantly. He was the richest man on earth, okay? Ever, not Elon Musk, not these puppets, these satanic puppets. No, King Solomon was, okay? He was blessed above measures. And he didn't ask for money, he asked for wisdom, okay? He was fruitful and multiplied. And yeah, we could talk about his fall. We all fall. You know, it's funny because when, when I mentioned Solomon, people will talk about, oh, well, Mark, he fell to the strange woman. Why don't you talk about the good things he did, man? You, you fall too. Don't be a hypocrite. We all fall. Okay, that's why we need Christ in our life. So I hope this message blessed one, uh, some of you guys, man. Um, I know some of you guys might be worried about the title and the thumbnail. I'm good. It's just a season. Like I said, it's just a season. Been through it, you know. Uh, I'm with the Most High. I'm just drawing closer to God, drawing closer to Christ. And I'm good. My fire is burning. Woo! I feel good, man. But, you know, that wisdom, that more wisdom, man, the more knowledge, that's what you got to expect. So... Thank you guys so much. If you made this far, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video on all your social media platforms. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.